and may this be the fate of all the witches, warlocks, and sorcerers who attempt to work their evil magic within the township limits of Roxburgh. The Book of Exorcism, please. Mayest thou and thy kind be condemned forever to eternal flames, never to return to the neighborhood of rocks. And now, while we prepare for the extinction of the father of this witch, the old sorcerer who attempted to come to her aid, there will be a short intermission. Pop, May. Get your fresh Indian pop dice, tuppence a poke. It's buttered, it's hot, it's fresh. An anti-witch charm in every fork. Tuppence, please. Pop maize. Here we are, it's buttered, it's fresh. Pop maize, Master Woolley. What has got into thee, Jonathan? What? Dost doubt she was a witch? I should never have accused her if I were not sure. And her father? Unquestionably a sorcerer. Mother, if thou hadst seen what I saw. We both saw our cows turn pink, then blue, and our sheep dancing a minuet. But thou didst not see Jennifer. Jennifer? She told me her name when she chased me into the hayloft. She was young and beautifully fair. Fairer than all women that ever were. Thou didst not tell that to the judges. Because I could never describe her beauty. What happened in the hayloft, Jonathan? She brought her golden tresses close to my face and whispered, Jonathan Woolley, thou hast denounced me as a witch. For that thou shalt be accursed. Thou and thy children and thy children's children. All will be under the same curse. What was the curse? I and all my descendants will be unhappy in love. The marriages we make will be disastrous until... Yes. It is too wicked to tell thee, Mother. Rubbish and gallant. Thou art in love with Purity Sykes and even betrothed to her. Aye, Mother. And Purity is a woman among thousands. Aye, Mother. She is that. Jonathan, wouldst leave thy future wife sit there all alone? What ails him, Mistress Woolley? Ah, Purity. You will find he is a dreamer. He needs only a firm hand. Jonathan, I must ask thee to be more attentive. In the future... Look! The oak tree will be planted over their ashes. Why? To hold the evil spirit prisoner in its roots, thus keeping their wicked powers from surviving. I hope... And this is the tree which was planted over their ashes. <laughs> the witch's spirits, of course, are imprisoned in its roots. <laughs> imprisoned forever. <laughs> Martha, I have the honor to... to... Uh... Are you proposing to me? Yes, Martha. Oh, Nathaniel. <laughs> Office. Oh, running off to war like a coward. talking about the whole house at the moment. It's that living room. Estelle, now, now listen to me. Estelle. Estelle. Estelle, please. What? Mr. Hesperson, wait. Hold it. One more. 
Papa, I'm leaving. Smile. Would you try to be a little more pleasant, at least until after the wedding? Hello, members of the Roxman Country Club. Dr. White's proposing another toast. I realize that lovebirds would like to be out on the veranda whispering sweet nothings. <laughs> after a certain ceremony tomorrow, they will have all the rest of their lives for billing and cooing. Mostly billing. <laughs> but if the voters of this state have any sense at all, they will insist that the first four years of the honeymoon be spent in the governor's mansion. Go ahead, go ahead. You might pick up a few more votes. We want Cody! 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 If I see uh, getting married, as well as trying to get elected, calls for speeches. <laughs> I can truly say that a new life is beginning for me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a storm. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, while at the moment the future seems a little dark, <laughs> well, you see, one never knows what the next moment will bring. <laughs> An infernal miracle. We're free again, free at last. Who speaketh? Tis I, thy father, Daniel. But thou hast no substance. Nor hast thou, Jennifer. We are smoke, witches smoke. But our evil spirits have survived. It will be sweet to plague the human race again. First, we'll visit the cornfield and ruin the crop. Tis always a good way to limber up. Look, father. The cornfield is no longer there. Well, you must expect a few changes in 270 years. Where are spirits in the wood that long? Hey, I counted the tree rings. See? They've built a new house. It seems all ablaze. Is it on fire? Not yet. <laughs> What's knitting, kitten? You like to cut a rug? Let's ditch these ickies. How about going to heaven in your jalopy? That's solid, Jackson. Now you're cooking on the front burner. What language is that, Father? I don't know, but we learn it. See how they dance today. They stand so close. Well, 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 things have changed. I never thought I'd see clothes like that in New England. These cannot be the descendants of the Puritans we knew. There's something that hasn't changed in 270 years. Keep thy mind on our business. It would be nice to have lips, lips to whisper lies, lips to kiss a man and make him suffer. Father, why cannot I have lips and eyes and hair? Careful, someone's coming. Do as I do. These bottles, we'll hide in them. Quick, 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 quick. Are you all right, Jennifer? Just full of bubbles in here. They tickle. My bottle has the tang of Medford rum. Look, Father. Come closer, man, so I can see me better. Riddle de dee, riddle de do, get the Henson's thumb line toe. There was something familiar about that face. Could we follow him?
What'll it be, Mr. Woolley? The same, bourbon. Yes, sir, Mr. Woolley. Woolley, I knew I recognized those features. Well, 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 a descendant of the land who had us burned. <laughs> no wonder he looks so unhappy. I put a curse upon his family. <laughs> well, I thought lovebirds always flew around in pairs. Stell's talking politics. What's the matter, election jitters? How can I lose? Masterson and all his papers in back of me. My future father-in-law is never back to loser, you know that. Well, if he spoils his record this time, I'll have to hock my stethoscope, I know that. You're betting on a sure thing, Dudley. He isn't missing a trick, look at that. Posters at a private party. The whole marriage is just another campaign stunt to him, insisting we hold it the day before the election so that I'll get a good publicity break on election day. Wallace, I think you've had enough to drink. Now, Estelle... I'd like to go home. Yes, dear. Can we drop you, Dudley? Yes, thanks. <laughs> the curse is working. She has the look of a shrew. Here, Tom. Jennifer. What's that curse thou wast chattering about? Each fully must marry the wrong woman. Ha! What a curse! Every man who marries, marries the wrong woman. True suffering cometh when a man is in love with the woman he cannot marry. Father, suppose a man were in love with a witch. With me. I would not marry him. Ha! Oh, pardon me. I need air. For tonight I may marry be. Tomorrow I'll be sober. Let's get out of here. Let's go for a little ride. Room? Father, give me a body. Oh, no. <laughs> Thou didst get into enough trouble with thy last one. Thou canst not give me a body. Thou wouldst not even know how to begin. No. I merely make a little fire. As thy last body was destroyed by flame, thy new one would be born in flame. Prove it. Start that great house on fire. A house there for pilgrims. <laughs> Twould be a pleasure burning there. All right, I will. Warra, warra, fizzle, dizzle. Let the flame begin to sizzle. P-I-L-G-R-I-M-H-O-D-E-L. <laughs> Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, Jennifer. Be a bad girl. That's the Pilgrim Hotel. It would have to be right on our way home. We'll have to stop. And you wouldn't go through fire for your future wife? <laughs> Boy, look at those flames. I never saw such a fire. Is there any way we can get through? Sorry, Mr. Woolley, it's all blocked off. Some firebug must have touched this off. Look at a good job. This is the craziest fire I've ever seen. Laps up water like a cat. You sure everybody got out all right? Yes, sir, we've checked every room. Yeah, they're all counted for. It's all right, man. Everybody's safe. Come on, okay. get these people back. We've got to have more. Just as if we're stuck here for a while. Tell them who you are. They'll have to make way. Oh, I'm sorry, Estelle. Wallace, where are you going? There's Mr. Willie. Yes, make way for Willie. Make way for the next governor. Would you like to go through, Mr. Willie? Yes, thank you. Stand up there, folks. Let him get back. Thank you, sir. I'm voting for you, Mr. Willie. Willie. That right. goes a great guy. Hello, Mr. Woolley. Oh, hello. Yeah, don't get too close. I got a bet riding on you. Oh. How, how did it happen, Alan? Yeah, nobody seems to know. There's an explosion on the roof. The top floor went like that. Then the fifth. Then the fourth. <laughs> now it's on the third. Pretty soon it'll be on the second. And then the first. Then it'll all cave in on the basement. <laughs> oh, what's so funny? Oh, it's fully insured. And I love building new things. I want to build it in a classic Gothic design. Don't you love Gothic, huh? Quiet. What is that? Did you hear that voice? Somebody's inside. Listen. 
I didn't hear anything. It's so clear. A woman's voice. Ah, there's nobody in there. They've looked everywhere. Oh, wait, wait. There it is again. See. Just walk. You'll find me. Keep walking. This way. This way. Are you all right? I think so. Two legs, two arms, a face, hair. Yes, I seem to be complete. Why don't you come out? I've been waiting for you, Mr. Woolley. Where are you? You're getting warmer. Here's my hand. How can I get you out of here? I can't see a thing. I can see you. How do you do, Mr. Woolley? Never mind how I am. Let's get out of here. Uh, just a moment. Have you a gazing glass? A what? A mirror. I want to see what I look like. At a time like this? Well, I'm cold. Cold in this furnace? But I have no clothes. No clothes? Here, put this on. <coughs> how did you get here? On the top floor. Why do you look away? Am I not pretty? <coughs> Who cares? Come on. <laughs> get up, get up. <laughs> no, I can't. Here, I'll carry you. Legs are funny when you're not used to them, aren't they? Huh? <laughs> Why are you in such a hurry? Why? The whole building was on the third floor, and now it's fallen to the second. When this ceiling gives way, we'll be buried alive. Nothing will happen to us. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. Ah, here's the door. Uh, oh. Uh. Uh. oh. This way is blocked. The bar is on the window. Thank you. Where are you? I found a better coat. And a mirror. Hmm, that's bad. Oh, I'm a blonde. Would you rather I be a brunette? If you don't get out of this fire, you'll be a redhead. Don't you realize... <laughs> was the second floor. Well, there's no way out. We're goners, little girl. Perhaps I should be little. I'm just as high as your heart. Did you hear what I said? We're trapped. Just we two. Look, before I got here, what, what hit you on the head? I felt nothing until your hand touched mine. Oh, I see. That was nice meeting you. Oh, would you like to leave now? It would be a pleasure. But that door is now a wall. Oh, well, then we can use the one behind the screen. The... What? You... Quick, it's our only chance. I want to fix my hair. Come on, while you still have a head. May I get a picture, please? Hold it right there. He saved somebody. All right, stand back, people. Okay, get back. Way down Get down there, picture. You all right? I guess so. Well, you certainly gave me a scare. Wally, take me away from these people. <clears throat> here, Dudley. She's suffering from shock. Well, uh, <laughs> it's better take you to a hospital. Huh? Oh, uh... I hope she's all right. It's only natural for you to be concerned. Oh, Estelle, I've told you a dozen times. There's no point in you to... Well, it's amazing. Not a scratch on her. Not a burn. You must be relieved. Dudley, you've known me all my life. She never met Wally before. The girl's suffering from delusions. You see? She has delusions. Well, I haven't. Well, oh, Estelle, Estelle, you Estelle, must hey, believe listen, me. Listen to me. I've never don't, seen don't her before. Like I'll never see her again. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah. Dear, you ought to well, let... Well, it's silly to drive me home and then back here. You need rest. But, darling, it... I know what's best. You have to get used to pleasing me sometimes, Wally. All right, dear. I'll... Oh, you still smell of smoke. Good night, darling. Good night. Susie, you know you can't come in until breakfast time. Scat. Scat. Susie. Susie! Susie? Susie, where are you? Hello, darling. You... I thought you'd never get rid of that girl. What are you doing here? Waiting for you. What the hospital? The... I didn't like it there. How did you get here? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. What am I to do with you? Just look on me as an old friend of the family. But I never laid eyes on you before. Come here, oh. Wally. Yes. Am I not an attractive female? What's that got to do with your being here? Am I? Yes, yes, you're very pretty. Take my hand again. Oh, now, come. I know you've had a terrible experience. And now a pleasant one. You have a very nice hand. And now it can shake mine. Good night. Your hand is cold. Yeah, well, so is yours. Yes, good, good night. Mm -hmm. Let mine rest in yours a moment. See, it's growing warmer. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's <laughs> amusing looking chap, isn't he? Yes. Ancestor of mine. I'm aware he is. Jonathan Mooley. He would have been more hospitable. Oh, I don't think so. Well, I have a busy day tomorrow. It's time for Betty Bye. Mm, take my hand again. You know, you're becoming a problem. <laughs> yes. Am I? Yes, and that is not the solution. See, it uh, isn't respectable for you to be sitting in a stranger's house. Uh, <laughs> I like your resisting me. Well, you do. Well, you know what I'm going to do with you now? Yes. Uh, get up, please. Where are you taking me, Wally? We're going out. Night, Jonathan. I'm going to give you some money, and then you can go back wherever you came from. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, yes. Right now. Oh, this is a lovely sensation. Even nicer than flying. What's going on, Governor? Oh, not Governor yet, Fred. Well, uh, she was in a fire and she lost her clothes. No, I didn't. I didn't have any. <clears throat> Evening, Mr. Woolley. Have you any money, Joe? About eight bucks. Well, I, I only have ten. But here, give it all to her and take her any place she wants to go. I'll pay you tomorrow. Yes. Sir. Now, for heaven's sake, be good. What'll I do with the coat? Well, when you're through with it, send it to the police. It, it, it didn't belong to her. I hope that cab is heated. Where to, lady? Where to? I didn't butt in on a pleasant dream. Mm. Just wanted to make sure you're all right. You certainly earned a drink. I'll say I have. Okay, upstairs you go, and I've got a good night's sleep. I'll take charge of this. Oh, Dudley, she was here. Who was it? The girl I saved in the fire. That's impossible. When I left her in the hospital, she was sleeping like an angel. Well, at some hospital, she got away, and some angel. Now, wait a minute. Hmm? Tell me this again slowly. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow, I've had enough for one day. Well, how about me now? I've got $10,000 tied up in this election. If this gets out, you're a dead goose. Think of the scandal the night before your wedding. Dudley, that's it, the election. 
That girl was sent here by the opposition. They're trying to frame me. You're right. Rain Vogel and that bunch wouldn't stop at anything. Did anybody see her? Nobody will do any talking. Good. I'll put her down on the hospital books as an amnesia case. Give the police a description. Was she wearing that fur coat? Oh. Maybe, maybe you better not say anything to the police. Everything's all right now. I, I got rid of her. Well, try and forget it then. You want a pill to make you sleep? No, no thanks. I'm much calmer now. Oh, make sure the door locks. Okay. Relax now. Good night, Wally. Now close this door, Wally. I said close this door, Wally. Now come here. I'm coming. My pajamas. Now, I don't want to call the police, but I know your whole scheme. You do? And I know who's behind it all. You don't. Want me to mention names? What names? County Chairman Martin J. Rainfogel. That's a nice name. One another? Mm-hmm. State Senator Conrad O'Hara, Jr. Sheriff Peter L. Glasshauser and all his war dealers. How much are they paying you? Nothing. Oh. Hmm? You're just doing it for love, hmm? Yes. Father thought it'd be a good idea. Who is your father? Oh, you've never met him. But he doesn't want this state to have a good administration. Father doesn't want any state to have a good administration. But he's out to get me particularly. Yes. You know, I'm a pretty good judge of character. And I don't think you're really a, a bad girl. Don't you? You're very young. Hmm, I'm older than you'd guess. You know, I don't think you ought to go back to that father. I'd much rather stay here with you. You would. You really would, wouldn't you? Now I understand. Just because I was of some slight help in getting you out of that blazing inferno, perhaps you are momentarily infatuated with me. But it isn't love. And I'm not in love with you. I guess this will take longer than I planned. I'm afraid you have rather a romantic mind. You see, love isn't just a matter of two people meeting under romantic circumstances. Love, that is, love that is really worthwhile, grows slowly. Real love is like a baby. Thousands and thousands of couples just like us, going their separate ways, never realizing the other was waiting somewhere. Why, Romeo and Juliet knew right away. That's what Shakespeare's trying to tell us. Of course, the case of Dante and Beatrice is a trifle different. He saw her only once. But in that moment, the whole world was bathed in a new light. It wasn't just a humdrum world anymore, where you had to get up in the morning and meet a lot of stupid people. Who's that? Eight o'clock, Mr. Willie. What? Eight o'clock. That's impossible. But it's true. Good morning, Wally. Good morning, Jennifer. It's fantastic. It just seems like a few minutes since I came in. Don't you want your breakfast? You're as bad as when you were a little boy. Even on a day like this, I have to call you half a dozen times. <laughs> oh, and what a, what a beautiful day it is, too. <laughs> Happy is the bride that the sun shines on. Good morning. Mmm. That smells good. You don't know how long it's been since I've eaten. Mr. Wood. I'll explain later, Margaret. What can you possibly say? Well, you... No, 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 dear, not like that. No. First you butter them, hmm? then a little syrup. Mr. Woolley, I've worked for your family for 30 years, been almost a mother to you. And to think that on this day of all days... Oh, yes, and send up some evening gowns, too, please. Well, you see, everything the young lady had was burned. <laughs> yeah, send them up right away. Thank you. You know, I, I think you've broken my record for waffles. <laughs> well, Margaret likes nothing better than to make them. 
Those people are still downstairs waiting. You know, Margaret, these have made a great hit with her. <laughs> what did you say? Those people. I told you they were here three batches of waffles ago. You did? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, people waiting? Who? Who are they? You'll find out. Excuse me. Mm, more waffles? There's no more batter. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Margaret. You better be sorry for yourself. Uh-huh. It's Miss Masterson downstairs with her father. Who? Miss Masterson, the lady you're getting married to. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. I'd forgotten that you were going to drop in. We didn't say we were. What's the matter with you? Have you seen the morning papers? I've got you all over the front page. Well, that's great. Great. Dear, hadn't you better go? It's bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. Don't be ridiculous. Saving that girl was the luckiest break yet. You don't know what that can do for you. Well, I have a rough idea. I've arranged a special broadcast about the fire. You're going to be interviewed. I'll have you back by 11. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That gives me plenty of time. Well, shall we go? No, I'm going to stay here a while. I want to see what I can do about brightening up this antique shop. The photographers will be here right after the wedding. Dear, there's no time for that. Run along. Uh, Estelle, I, I'm a little on edge. I mean, with the wedding at noon. I'd feel much better if you came along. There, that's a good girl. Oh, excuse me, I'll get my hat. How did that happen? It, it just slammed shut. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. There's, there's rather a heavy draft blowing through the house today. What's he going out with her for? Why shouldn't he? He's going to marry her in less than two hours. And as for you, young woman, oh, go to sleep. I don't want to go. In two hours, that doesn't give me much time. I wish Father were here. What seems to be the trouble? Oh, good morning, Father. I need some advice. He's tougher than I thought. I can't seem to make him love me. Thou art the berriest bangler. I must have been drunk to give thee a body. Oh, don't smoke so much, Father. Did something go wrong with thy filter? My what? I love filter. Thou gavest him one, I presume. No, oh, I thought I could do it barehanded. Art thou a witch or a woman? Prepare a love filter at once. Dost thou recall the incantation? Listen. until ready. What will it taste like, Father? Like cold water, but will set Master Woolley's blood on fire. Then I'll treat him like a slave. I'll make him suffer, body and soul. Speaking of bodies, I have a notion to make a personal appearance myself. Of course, I'll have to burn a house down to do it. <laughs> Not this one, Father. I've a better idea. The building he's in now, it will force him back to me. Excellent. Good hunting, Jennifer. Tis going cool. Now we shall see if thou canst resist me. I'm ready, Master Woolly. I dressed you. Dudley, I'm lucky to be alive. What's happened now? I was making a broadcast telling about the fire last night, and suddenly I was in the middle of another one. A mysterious explosion on the roof. Anybody heard? No, no, we all got out all right. What's wrong with this door? Margaret! 
What are you two doing in my bedroom? What happened? Oh, I, I must have dozed off. You go on upstairs and get dressed. You need a stimulant. Where's the brandy? Did you get rid of that girl? That girl? Oh, she must still be here. Well, she won't be here for long. Oh, you listen to me, young lady. Come on, come on, get up. I'm listening, Mr. Woolley. Why do you look at me that way? Oh, my dress. Do you like it? I don't know. It's such a shock to see you dressed. I mean, you're beautiful. Enough to make a man fall in love? Mere physical beauty isn't everything. That's what I thought. Now, <clears throat> look here, Jennifer. I don't like the tone of your voice. Well, I swallowed some smoke last night, and I've just swallowed some more now. But that's not oh, going to stop me Molly from... Molly wants a drink of water. Nice, cool water. Thank you. Now, all I have to drink say it, is... Drink it, Wally. And then I'll be glad to hear anything you have to say. You'll find out that no one named Wooly is able to stay away from me. Oh. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. This is terrible. Jennifer, J Jennifer! Can you hear me? Dudley, come here. Oh, you. Here, here, drink this. There. There, that's better. Now, how do you feel? I. I feel strange. Mm -hmm. What happened? Well, the picture fell. Does your head hurt? My head? Mm. No. It's my heart. I feel so light. Try not to talk. Oh, but I must. I must tell you how I feel. Oh, Wally. You're so beautiful. Dudley! Take my hand. But oh, don't start that again. Oh, my God. Let that man alone. Dudley, there, there's something really happened to her this time. She got an awful sock in the head, that picture. Well, it wasn't your fault now, Wally. You did it in self-defense. Aren't you glad you drank it, Wally? What? I didn't drink anything. What's she talking about? Oh, a drink of water. I gave it to her when she was coming, too. You gave it to me? You should never force liquids on a person who's unconscious. It may have serious consequences. Oh. Nervous reactions. Come on, we're late for the wedding. Well, what are we going to do? Lock her in this room. But Dudley, come on before she marries you. Oh. Stop worrying. She can't get out. I'll drive. You're too nervous. Well, you'll have to get rid of her after the wedding. Poor little girl. All alone in the world, except for a no-good father. Don't ever jam your brakes on like that. I didn't jam them. It just stopped. I can't figure it out. Hey, what's that smoke? What happened to him? Who? The fellow we pulled out of the fire. He's gone. How do you like my body, Jennifer? <laughs> not too old, not too young. I'm sorry I've forgotten the formula for clothing. I had to borrow the sheet from the ambulance. <laughs> By the by, has the potion been administered? Yes. Father, something went wrong with our plan. What? But that love filter never fails. It didn't. But I drank it. Nicodemus, then you love him. Yes, Father. But he's about to marry someone else because of my ancient curse on the Woolies. Do you think if I explained it all to him? By all means, do. Telling a mortal you're a witch will only mean the end of you. Then what shall I do? He must not marry her. You won't let him, will you? Let me think. You could make him love me. You can do anything you want. Here. Yeah. This problem should be fairly simple. Just leave it all to me. Oh, thank you, Father. Will you leave it to me? I promise. Splendid. <laughs> I'm still a little bit warm from the fire. Jennifer, fetch me a pair of Master Willie's breeches. We're going to his wedding. I love you truly.
What is it? Novocaine, 120 proof. Down fast, brother. Deadly effect, girl. Ever gets out of my house, drink that. Suppose she comes here, it'll be terrible for Estelle. Oh, you'll be all right, yeah, and I'll be sitting pretty. <laughs> There's your cue. Just play I'm a seeing eye dog now. Smile? You know I wanted a church wedding. Well, you've had everything else your own way. The reception, the honeymoon. I should never have given in to Wallace. The last time. She's not here. Stop worrying. Smile. That she just blew in. What? I saw her in the doorway. What do I do? I'll think of something. Oh, get it. Beloved, this is my father. Delighted, Master Woolley. I think you've made a little mistake. This is a private room. It's rather crowded downstairs and a bit windy. <laughs> Be seated, Master Woolley. I should like to have a little talk with you. Now look here. I'm being married in two minutes. I understand there is where your plan. Where? He is being married. Nothing you can do. Would you excuse us? Maybe you'd better. Well, hurry up. I'll stand guard. Mm -hmm. Let me fix your pretty tie. You see, Father, he's just like a great god. My little one tells me she was your overnight guest. Not at my invitation. Oh, no, Father. The poor sweet didn't want me to stay. Were well, I an ordinary man, Master Willie, a horse whipping would no doubt be in order. I am not an ordinary man. While examining your dwelling, I came upon this. My revolver. You can't force me to marry her. <laughs> what a banal mind you have. You may hold the weapon. What is this? It's very simple. Here is a bruised flower. I am her father. That is your revolver. You are going to shoot me. I am going to shoot you. Will that be of help? No, no. Father knows best. Warm, Master Willie? You don't know what warmth is. I'm told one of your forebears made a hobby of bonfires. What a pity he cannot be here to see his descendant burn. Yes. Master Willie, <laughs> burn in the modern way, strapped in a chair, heated by electricity. I anticipated that. Pistol, pistol, let there be murder in the first degree. Thank you so much. Amusing invention, the electric. Chair. <laughs> what will they think of next? What's happened? Uh, uh, it, it was an accident. It was no accident. He killed me in cold blood. Kindly notify the authorities. Oh, he's frightened you. He told me he'd help me. How is he? He's dead. Oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Her own father. Oh, but that's not my father. That's just a body he picked up. Oh. 
I didn't do it, Dudley. Now, you'll be my witness. All right. Well, I wasn't here. Oh. <laughs> Nervous as a bride. One might think that we're going to hang him. It's up to you. I tell them. What have I got to do with it? You're handling the details of the wedding. I saw smoke come out. I know you're here somewhere. How could you, Father? You know I love him. That's exactly why I've disposed of him. Where are you? For <laughs> tonight I'll marry many people. Tonight I'll marry many people. Tonight I'll marry many people. Tomorrow I'll be sober. <laughs> Come out of that bottle. Come out! Oh, no. I could float here forever. Well, you're not going to. Oh! Oh! Wally! Don't go upstairs. But maybe she killed herself. Wally! Oh, Wally! What's wrong with him? Oh, I think we'd better call the police. What's he done? Nothing. It's the other fellow. What other fellow? The one in the chair. Now, keep calm. I'll be right back. Estelle, Estelle. to be Now you get back in that body. No, I didn't like it. It's an old fat body. Then I'll tell Wally what we are. Knowing what would then happen to you? Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? You're all right? Wally, darling, there's something I must tell you. Oh, look! I thought you said he was dead. Well, he is. A fine way to take advantage of a father's affection. Now, hearken to a father's curse. I'm going to turn you into a frog. Frog, frog, sitting on a log. What's the next line? You wait till I sober up. You'll be sorry. Oh. Oh. For tonight I'll marry, marry be. For tonight I'll marry, marry be. Tomorrow I'll be sober. What did you want the police for? What's all right now? He fell out the window. He what? Not Wally, the other fellow. And me, you foul minions of the law. Take it easy, Pop. I'm going to cast a spell upon you. From now on, you're a rat. Rat, rat, fatter than a cat. How does the rest of it go? So, I'm a rat, huh? Call the wagon. Come on. If I can only remember the words, I could turn you into kangaroos. They're taking him away. Why didn't I have them take you, too? Perhaps it's because you're beginning to love me. Please don't start that again. Wally, I thought Father would be friendly. I wouldn't let him or anyone else harm you. Oh, I know you wouldn't. But it's true. Last night I was your enemy, but now I've changed. I love you. I'll always love you. If I could die, I would do that for you. Will you, you just be a sweet girl? Hey, they're ready. Goodbye. Where are you going? But I told you before. But I thought that now. After all I've done for you. You've been very obliging. But now I'm going downstairs to be married. That's what you think. Ah! Wally! Ducky, you gotta go through with it this time. I'll take care of it. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's get this over. 
he'll pay for this. Do I look all right? Who cares? Go on. Well, what are you standing there for? The Dudley has the ring. I'll see what's keeping you. Wallace. You come back here. Hmm? What's the matter with you? Did you ever have one of those days when just nothing seems to go right? Wallace! Got here too late. Dudley. She really did love me. She said she'd die for me. Oh, my darling. At last. Oh. Hmm. I've had enough of this. Now, Michelle. <laughs> That's a big misunderstanding. <laughs> if you'll just give me a few minutes, I... I'll give you just ten seconds. To get out of this house, all of you. We won't be here that long. You had better get out of the state. Estelle, I'm terribly... Get out! No, I can explain everything. Uh, after the fire, you see, she spent the night... On second thought, maybe we'd better just go, Polly. Mr. Masterson. I'll expose you in every paper I own. This will not only cost you the election, but I'll encourage the voters of this state to tear you limb from limb. I'll head the tower and feather body personally. When I'm through with you, you'll wish you'd never been born. I love you truly. Will you shut up? Extra paper, I, I big boy, scandal. Read all about it. Extra paper, big boy, scandal. Extra read all about it. Wallace, fully exposed. Extra paper. What does it say? Well, it's just as I thought. He's finished. Well, I'm bankrupt. Go and get her, I say. Bring my daughter to me. Bring her here, or by Jezebel. Shut up! Quiet! I want to get some sleep. Hey, toss this stub bug out of here. For the last time, will you pipe down? I tell you, my daughter ran off with a bumpkin named Wooly. Wallace Wooly. Sure she did. Now, you just take it easy. You'll be out of here tomorrow. Tomorrow may be too late. There's no telling what you'll do. Oh, I know a couple of ways to make you shut up. I know a hundred ways to silence you forever. But I don't remember them now. This is terrible. She'll marry him. Wallace Woolley's going to marry his daughter. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and then you'll see what will happen to Master Willie. I wreak my vengeance on them both. She thinks she can run away from me. But I cannot see her because of the fog. But I can see you, Jennifer. She smiles. She presses closer to him. Darling. Yes, Wally. You're guessing about those mileposts, aren't you? No, I can see them. I have rather unusual eyes. Well, if we're really over the state line, I can relax. Wally, hmm? what color would those feathers be? Feathers? Oh, I don't know. But the tar would be black. Let's stop, Wally. Guess we'll have to. I can't even see the front of the car. Mighty nice scenery they have around here. Lovely, isn't it? We'd better walk to the next town. Well, I thought we'd stay here. Here? Why, well, we're right in the middle of nowhere. How do you know, Mr. Woolley? to stay. I have a lovely room. Well, thank you. Do you have two rooms? No, I'm sorry. Aren't you married? You're dressed for a wedding. Well, where's the nearest justice of the peace? He'll be down in a minute. Henry, customers. Uh, let's see. Uh... One dollar for waking up the county clerk and helping you get your license. Yes, sir. Uh, two dollars for the uh, ceremony. Mm -hmm. One fifty for lodgings. Uh, 
rent of my pajamas, 25 cents, sir. A rent of the nightgown. I'll have to charge you 50 cents for that. A sort of an heirloom. <laughs> there. Oh, what a perfect fit. My grandmother was just a little bit of a thing like you. <laughs> Oh, shall I light the fire? Oh, no, I'd like to try. I must start learning to be a good housewife. I see you just go like that, don't you? Of course. Then I get the other matches. Well, good night, my dear. I'm sure you're going to be very happy. He's a fine young man. And I hope you boys take after him. And I hope your girls take after you. By Radamanthus on fire. Oh. Ollie. Yes, dear. Did you see the way that fire came on? What fire? All I can see in this room is you. Darling. Mm -hmm. Do you want to have children? Well, of course. I'd like three little girls exactly like you. Oh! Huh? I think I'd better tell you. You'd never forgive me if you found out later. Ah, uh -huh, confession. Yes, Wally. Well, I haven't exactly been a saint myself. We'll compare notes in the morning. No, I must tell you now. I don't know how to begin. Then don't. Wally, mm -hmm. doesn't it seem strange to you, the way we met? It's all been like a dream. It was witchcraft. That's it, of course. You see, Wally... Oh, dear. It's getting late. But I want you to know what I am. All right. All right, what are you? I'm a witch. A witch? I knew it all the time. You did? Of course. I've been under your spell since the moment I met you. Then it doesn't matter? You don't mind being married to a witch? I love it. I'll try so hard to be a good wife, and I'll only use witchcraft to help you. What could you do, for instance? Hmm? Well, I could make you win the election tomorrow. Oh, it would take witchcraft to do that. I think I can manage it. Fine, fine. After all, I'm not just an ordinary witch. My family dates back to the days of Pompeii. Were you mixed up in that? My father was. <laughs> Ever hear of the decline and fall of the Roman Empire? That was our crowd. <laughs> You're marvelous. Now, seriously, Dip, do you like to sleep on the left side or the right side? You don't believe me. <laughs> well, they try to understand. 270 years ago. Oh, that's too long a story, dear. Can't it keep till tomorrow? Wally, 270 years ago, you're not listening to me. Yes, dear, yes, I am. 270 years ago. I'll tell you tomorrow. Let me out! Let me out! Why can't I remember the formula for dissolving iron? Let me out! Quiet! Pipe down. I couldn't get any shut eye all night with that guy yelling like that. Ah, uh, throw him in a solitary. Yeah. Hey, that's Wallace Woolley. Don't tell me they're tossing him in the clink. It looks that way. Well, pay off, brother. They ain't electing no con for governor. Fencing is a cinch. Ah, why couldn't you keep straight until after he was elected, like everybody else does? I'd like to talk to you about Jennifer. We were married last night. Yes, I know. Congratulations, Master Willie. Thank you. She's been saying the oddest things. Last night and again this morning. What? Silly things. Uh, about uh, living in Roxford 270 years ago. Being a witch. Be here, Bob. Don't you think I know? Oh, then she's acted that way before. Well, maybe I can help her. Silence! I must concentrate. Iron, iron, melt away. Oh, I can't remember a thing. 
What is the matter with me? I'm afraid you've got a hangover. Don't tell me what I've got. I invented the hangover. It was in 1892, B.C. Did you believe her? That's the important thing. Believe her? What the thing she said didn't make any sense. Then there's still the hope. First, I thought she was joking, but she keeps talking about the election, saying she'll make me win by witchcraft. But that'll prove she's a witch. Master Willie, see if you can get me out of here. I know how to handle her. Huh? Well, thanks, I'll do my best. But I'm afraid I haven't much influence in this town anymore. It'll be a fencing, a landslide. Quiet. <laughs> Three cheers for Wallace Woolley. Hooray! 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 We want Woolley. We want Woolley. We want Woolley. Quiet. We want Woolley. We want Woolley. We want Woolley. Hey, hey. I thought you wanted Bensinger. Oh, I changed my mind. Yeah, but you're betting on Bensinger. All right, so I'll lose. We want Woolly! We want Woolly! We want Woolly! We want Woolly! Quiet! We want Woolly! We want Woolly! We want Woolly! Wallace Woolly is a fraud, an imposter, a hypocritical demagogue. That's why I'm asking you to vote for Wallace Woolley. Mr. Masterson. One moment, please. Yes, you said vote for Woolley, did I? Correction, ladies and gentlemen. The man I am backing is Benzinger. W-O-O-L-E-Y. We want Woolley. 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 That includes every precinct in Kearsarge County, folks. It looks as if the whole state's going to make it a woolly landslide. More in a minute, folks. I can't believe it. That's just what she said she'd do. There's no other explanation. You mean she's a... Uh, you see now, Duddy, why I couldn't go down to campaign headquarters tonight? If this ever gets out... Let's take a look at these Wapasaka figures. But they're not complete. You can't be carrying Wapasaka County. That's Bensinger's home. Another bulletin, folks. Complete returns from Wapasaka show the entire county is climbed on the woolly bandwagon. Well, are you convinced? It must be in another county. Hold everything. Here's the flash, folks. At 10.45 tonight, with only three precincts in the entire state yet to be heard from, election returns were as follows. Wallace Woolley, 2,684,922. Elwood Bensinger, none. He didn't even vote for himself. Dudley, I've married a witch. What am I going to do? Let me look at you. Did you say she's 800,000 years old? No, 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 no. That's her father. She's only 290. Oh, I see. But, but you'd never think it. Well, marriage does a lot for people. Yeah. Well, Wally, this clears everything up. All except one little point. How did she get out of the hospital that night? She used a broom. Oh, of course. Oh, I must be getting stupid. A child would know that. <laughs> Dudley, what? What am I going to do? How many people have you told about this? No one but you. How can I tell anybody? Well, I see your point. People are so skeptical. Might be hard for them to grasp that the first lady of the state is a witch. I don't care about them. What about me? Look out. Oh! Are you satisfied, darling? You're the new governor. What are you going to do now? Help you on with your slippers. No, not just yet. Oh, well, then I'll warm them by the fire. You know, I lighted it with a match, Wally. From now on, I'm going to be just a simple, helpful wife. Dudley, I can't take a helpful wife. What if she runs me for president? We want Wally! What's that? People gathering in the street here. They want you to make a speech. Real people? Naturally, they all voted for Wally. What am I going to say to them? Oh, I don't know. There are one or two things I wouldn't tell them, though. Well, good night, old man. Good night. Oh. 
Well, where are you going? Oh, it's late. I gotta be getting home. Into my straight jack. Who would you like me to drive you? No, thanks, I'll uh, call a broom. Uh, I mean a taxi. Wally, darling. Yes, dear. You don't mind my being a witch, do you? Well, you'll admit it's a little unusual. No one need ever know. We'll talk about that later, dear. <laughs> It'll be our little secret. Our little secret? <laughs> now go out and make your speech to them, dear. compliment you on the public confidence you have inspired for Master Willie. You're not going to hurt him again. I will attend to him later. I'm concerned now with an erring daughter. I've done nothing except love him. You have informed him that you are a witch. Need I remind you of the punishment that I must perforce administer at midnight back to the tree? There to stay until the present race of men is extinguished. He's a rather light sentence considering the offense. But if I don't wish to go? There is nothing you can do about it. I'm still a witch. No, my dear, your heart is so full of human love that I can no longer trust you. Until you have resumed a more spirit-like existence, you shall be a mere mortal. I've remembered all the spells you've taught me. Out fire by Radamanthus. Out! <laughs> you see, your part is dead. Mine remains. Out fire. Better get ready. Soonest done, soonest mended. And midnight approaches. May I say goodbye? Certainly, my dear. I'll be around. Administration, as the former governor so aptly put it. Wally, Wait. Wally. Uh, and in conclusion, thank you all very much. What is it? Oh, you must help me. You want me to help you? Come on, darling. Hurry. No, 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 no. no. But where? Anywhere out the back door. Hurry up, what? darling. <laughs> Any place, Joe. Just drive around. That's my cab. Jennifer, what is all this? I had to get you away. Something might have happened to you. Of what? I don't know, but something awful. Can't you tell me about it now? Oh, Wally, I'm afraid. Oh, you are afraid. What kind of trouble can you be in that you can't get out of by witchcraft? I've lost my power. What? I'm not a witch any longer. I'm like any other girl. Oh, Wally, I wish we could go so fast that no power on earth could overtake us. Faster! Nothing's going to happen to you while I'm around. <laughs> you are like any other girl, afraid of lightning. That isn't ordinary lightning. Can't he go any faster? Step on it, Joel. Faster. <laughs> Possibly catches. Joe's a wonderful driver. There's nothing he can't do with the car. They've certainly improved this road. Is it midnight yet? No, five minutes to twelve. Don't look! Back to the tree! Don't 
worry about me, Master Woolly. I am accustomed to fire. Come, Jennifer. I have decided to return with thee to the tree. I am weary of mortals. There's no use fighting. It has to be like this. Jennifer, what are you saying? Go, Wally, please. Midnight. Goodbye, my darling. I want you to remember me as I was. Just an ordinary girl. <laughs> He'll remember. That will be his torture. And I'll remember that I loved you. Through all eternity. I'll remember. <laughs> Thou wilt remember nothing of this tender feeling. That will be the essence of thy punishment. I'll never forget. With all my strength, I'll fight. Love is stronger than witchcraft. I'll remember everything. The sound of your voice, your worried looks, the warmth of your arms around me, the touch of your lips. Goodbye, Wally. Goodbye, my darling. I'll remember. I'll always remember. Always. 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 Look at him. <laughs> Is it not good to see him suffer? Yes, Father. Is this not a perfect revenge on the Woolies? Yes, Father. Could we follow him? And why? To watch him suffer, of course. Well said, Jennifer. Thou art a witch again. than witchcraft. For tonight I'll marry, marry be. For tonight I'll marry, marry be. For tonight I'll marry, marry be. Tomorrow I'll be sober. Oh, no, you won't. Wally, darling, all our troubles are over. At least for the present. <laughs> Your family for 37 years, but this is the end. What is it, Margaret? Well, I simply cannot handle your daughter. <laughs> Jennifer, I told you never to play with that broom. Why? I'm afraid we're going to have trouble with her someday. Oh, that's impossible. I hope. <laughs> Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're going to leave you now. Oh. 